Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I will be giving you a tutorial on how to make a cool little basket in the new Tinkercad code blocks. So the first thing is, you want to come up on this screen of your normal stuff. You want to go down to code blocks. It has a little beta tag on it. It's got to open it up. So then we're going to start with a new design. First thing we're going to do, you're going to use the create new object tab. And then we want to create two variables, frame and frame rotate. So you want to create variable. Right now it's doing this like glitch where it's in Chinese. So then, we want to just set frame right now to 16. We want frame rotate to be, we'll just pull this little block in. Th yeah, 360 over frame. 360 over frame. This will give us what, how much we need to shift the rotation by to make this basket. Add a polygon. Everything looks good. Then we gotta do operators. Scale it to I have it as six, six and point two. So right now we can run this, and then this is the base max size of the polygon that we're going to have. And then we create one more, because we want the polygon to be a whole. We go back to scale, make it 5.8. and then just leave it at one so when you run it, it makes the hole leaving that little gap and then we want to create group it's running this and then we have this thin thing so then we're going to rotate it along the z, z axis and then y axis rotate around Z by remember it being 30 and then we rotate around rotate around the Y axis 50 degrees. So right now, this is the base sort of thing that we're going to rotate around to create the full part. We want to move it up and around a little bit. Move x negative 10 Z, then roughly. Uh, in the previous version, I had 46. Rotates up. And then right in the center point is where it's going to be rotated around. So we want to make a counter from this to frame. Counts by one, and then we copy 
the object and then we want to rotate it around the z-axis by i times frame rotate and then just the degrees from pivot so then to get the degrees from pivot just pull that guy in then z-axis by i by i times no frame rotate we'll just run it to see if it works So then, bam, we have a vase, not sort of a vase slash bowl, couldn't be used as a kind of weird planner. So you can plug up the hole pretty easily, but I want to show you, just because of the way that this was generated, it's kind of weird when you can see how it didn't just go boop, 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 all the way around. You want to like figure out which is the best angle, so I find... 8 is half of that so it rotates pretty well and 8 then 4 pretty easy to see and then just to show you what happens when you do a, a different number when you do six this is what you get for six so it's not the best one because it's not equally distributed I don't exactly know why if someone knows why can just like put it in the description not not in the description I mean in the comments of the video so once we have this one made we can go back put a tube at the bottom radius is 27 then we want the wall thickness to be 18 because this is what would happen if the wall thickness was still 2.5 is that it's the wall thickness is still 2.5 and that isn't the best effect it's not the best effect but it's not a really good hole it's basically well it's a pretty big hole and we don't want that big of a hole so then by moving it up to 18 run it the hole is smaller so then the height is going to be 3 And then to clean up the bottom, I'm going to add a box. Make sure that's a hole. The weight and length and stuff looks good. And then you move it down 
wasn't the best and also the width and length. So we can increase that to like 60 and then make the height smaller at 1.5. was too high so you move it because I did 2.5 when you want negative 2.15 I mean and then Just complete this create group. Let's see what happens. So we have that, and then we create group. I don't exactly know why it's not working. This is the pre-done one that I did already. So interestingly, it's not actually joining the group together. Let me see if I put a I put a group here. That's still multicolor then. Create another group. It's not actually cutting away at that. So that is interesting, but even without the base cut off, it still looks really nice. So some of the cool features for this is that you can export it as a part so you can then open it up in other designs and then you can also save it as a GIF in a screenshot or just export it for normal printing. Thank you guys for watching that video. If you liked it, please drop a like. If you want more content, subscribe and as always, keep on printing.